Hallelujah. Beloved, this is another day. The Almighty Jehovah, the King of glory, He has given us a breath and also a word. Beloved, let us pray. Immortal everlasting Father, you alone is worthy to be praised. Among the gods who is like unto thee, there is none. Father, we thank you for a day like this. It is by your power, it is by your might, it is by your authority. All things are naked before you. We thank you for the bread, for your children around the whole world. May your name be praised and exalted. Unto thee, O Lord, all things are possible. We thank you. We glorify you. Let your will shall be done. And let your word come forth. Holy Spirit, this is an empty vessel. Speak through me and let your word come forth. As your children, we are thirsty for your word. We give you all the glory for giving us the word. And we thank you. And when all things are done, we will say it was the Lord. May your will shall be done. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is another day. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the mighty King, has given us a word. And without wasting time, let us go to the scripture. The title of the message is this. All flesh is not the same. So we turn our Bible onto 1 Corinthians and the verses, 1 Corinthians 15 and the verses 39. Oh, we give him all the glory. Let us hear the word of God. All flesh is not the same flesh. But there is one kind of flesh of a man, another flesh of an animal, another flesh of a fish, and another flesh of a bed. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is all about character of a human being. They are not the same. So the Bible is telling us that there are four types. We have the man flesh, a flesh of a beast, a flesh of an animal, and a flesh of a fish. Oh, Master Jesus, we give you all the glory. All this is about a character. So, beloved, the Bible is telling us, if the flesh of a man, we can see it, through Romans 8, as the Holy Spirit, let us know. Because it bear the same spirit with our spirit. So without wasting time, let us hear Romans and the verses 14. What the Holy Spirit is telling us. For as many are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. 15, for we do not receive the spirit of bondage against to fear, but receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, our Father. 16, the spirit himself bear with our spirit the Spirit himself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So if the spirit of a man, the Holy Spirit, bear the spirit of your spirit, hallelujah. Now we move to the spirit of the beast, which is James, the book of James 4, and the verses four and five. Let us hear the word of God. James four, four and five says, adulterers and adults, 
do you know that the friendship of this world is an enmity with God? Whosoever want to be a friend of this world, make himself an enemy of God. Or do you think that the scripture say is in vain? The spirit who dwell in yearning jealousy. So beloved, what James is saying, that these spirits are not the spirit of God. They are spirit of the beast. They are the spirit of the flesh. So if you have the spirit, the Holy Spirit cannot dwell in you. And the Holy Spirit doesn't know this spirit because the Holy Spirit dwells in a spirit which is pure and clean. Hallelujah. Oh, Master Jesus, the author of life, we give you all the glory. Beloved, it is him alone that knows us. The Holy Spirit searches the heart and he knows the deeper of the heart. Hallelujah. We still continue in 1 John and the verse is 2, verse John 2, 29. Let's let hear the word of God. Hallelujah. 1 John 2, 29. It says, if you know that he is righteous, you will know that everything who practice righteous is born of him. So if you have the spirit of God, what he's saying, it will be manifest. You will see the righteous in the person. He will run away from filthy things. Hallelujah. Oh, what a master. Oh, what a king. We continue. First John 2.22. Hallelujah. First John 2.22. Let's hear what First John 2, First John 2.22 is saying. Who is a liar? By he who deceived that Jesus Christ, he is an antichrist who denied the Father and the Son. Beloved, if you have the character of the flesh, you will deny that Jesus Christ did not come. So the person is what? It's Antichrist. As John, as John 2, 22 is saying, and the 22, who is a liar? And we all know the father of liar is Satan. He come to steal, to destroy, and to kill. So this afternoon, the flesh of a fish, the flesh or the character of a fish is all deceived. As we know, it's everything is about lie. Everything is about lie. There is nothing in that flesh. There is nothing. All is worldly things. All is about flesh. All is about the property that the person has acquired. Oh, beloved, let us run away from this earthly things. As the Bible is telling us, if the spirit of God is in you, you will have fellowship. You will not be lazy. And you will be in tune with the Holy Spirit. He will direct you. He will teach you. Beloved, there will be intimacy. There will be a fellowship. As we know, the spirit of bed is the spirit of Satan. Or the character 
is satanic power. So beloved, let us see John 8, 44, the father of lies. Let us read John 8, 44, and I read, you are of your father, the devil, and the desire of your father, you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speak a lie, he speak from his own source, for he is a liar and the father of it. So if you have this character, you are a child of the devil. All you do is about devil. His property is in, in you because you don't want to see the light. You don't want to be near the light. So beloved, we have to run away from sin because sin will separate you from your maker. Beloved, we have to yield to the Holy Spirit alone because he is the truth and him, he can help you. We have to surrender our life unto our maker so the Lord will have mercy upon us. Hallelujah. Beloved, all these characters can be changed by the Spirit of God. He is our teacher. He is our comforter. He is our guide. The Spirit of God will help us to know him and the truth will be in us. All these things are done by the Holy Spirit when we yield unto him. And also, he is our friend. We need him this morning. We have to have a fellowship with him and he will teach us the word. And when the word abides in us, it will live in us forever. We give him all the glory. We thank him for this message that he has let us see the four types of a flesh of a human. The flesh of a man, the flesh of a beast, the flesh of an animal, the flesh of a bird. All these are characteristic of a human. May his will shall be done. Father, we thank you, our Savior, for the word that has come this morning. We give you all the glory. Now unto him who is able to do a sudden abundantly above all that we ask or think to the power that work in us. May God Almighty bless his end-time prophet and the family and also his viewers that avail themselves daily to listen to the message that God uses servant to bring to his viewers. May your heart desire be met. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give him all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen.